Um, nice to meet you all. Um, first of all, I want to say that for the past three years I was doing a show on YouTube called Wired for Reality and it wasn't a very clean show and I know a lot of people like that. They like dirt, they like sex, they like drunkenness, they like um, they like to be humored by dirty jokes and things like that. But, um, so I did that and I didn't care. I was, I just say, um, um, a lot of things changed in life and I, my son, my oldest son moved in with me. Him and I moved into our own place and then things suddenly changed. Like lots of changes took place in our family and so we couldn't do the Wired for Reality show anymore. Shandy, my daughter, she moved out in with a, her bo new boyfriend and uh, had a child with him and my son Vince, when I knew foresee this was coming, I just said, well, whether it was foreseen to come or not, I thought it would help with rent. Vince, come move in what, from your dad and come move in with me and Shandy. And he did a few months uh, in the fall. Uh, I think it was October 2013 or something like that. Maybe sooner, but somewhere in, around there. And then Shandy moved out with her, into, with her new boyfriend. Um, so Vince and I decided to get a place that we could share closer to where I work and um, just something nicer. We didn't want a yard or a garden to tend in. It was too much work. But anyway, to make a long story short, as soon as we moved in here, things started to change drastically. And that's why um, I wanted to make this video to show you why things suddenly changed and why they're going to change on my channel from here forward. I am going to keep all those videos from the past except for some music videos I did that I'm not very proud of. Um, I took off because everyone is now, I and mean, if you aren't, you will be now aware, um, the Illuminati is involved in Hollywood and rock music and all that. and. I'll explain in more detail. It's good to see the world is aware of it, but uh, it's been going on the last probably close to 100 years. Actually, it's been going on for 6,000 years since the beginning of God's creation, but uh, man is just becoming aware of it the last 100 years openly. Um, and if, anyway, so. Because of this, I got rid of my music videos. I had a music video with Madonna. Madonna song and let's just say when I made those music videos I was deceived. I, um, well I'll get to the point, I rededicated my life to the Lord. I grew up in a Christian home so I was always raised in it. So people might think well because she's raised in it why doesn't she try other religions and see if there's something better out there because I know better. I know I have um, 
had the Holy Spirit in me guiding me and teaching me. I, and I have gone through rebellious times like everyone else. I've left my path either purposely or pulled away um, without realizing that's like sin getting in the way. And as we go up forward in these videos, I might produce do some videos explaining. I like people to know what's going on. I don't like them to see the Bible as something that is mm, a bunch of jibber josh jibber jabber. I mean, I like to be very. I was always a teacher, good teacher with my kids. I've been open with them, and I like to be the same way with you because I think that's how God would want us to be, and the Holy Spirit working in me to working me through me to you and lots of people on the YouTube are doing that but I feel and I took me a while to do this I have had it in the back of the mind to at least do this video but to where, where to go forward with it I don't know but let's just say that God woke me up very fast in May um, and I will probably tell you that story in the next video because this is just the introductory one of why things are changing so anyway, I'll keep the Wired for Reality videos on there because they are the past. But to make you realize that is the past, and perhaps you will see the change from past to future and realize that definitely there is a God that works in people's lives. There is a Holy Spirit that, that does go into you. And no, it's not a... a pos uh, and that's another program I'd like to bring up. Having the Holy Spirit in you is not being possessed well it's a good possession because it's a Holy Spirit possession it's not a satanic possession what people don't realize is and like we can exclude atheists atheists don't want to believe but there is a spiritual world and all my life as I got older even Christians aren't really seeing and aware of the spiritual world a lot of times they know it's there but they don't notice it revolving around them but God has given me, I don't know if it's a gift or what, but I've always had that awareness of the spiritual world around me. So there is a spiritual world, like not in the way that people think that, oh, seances and reading the crystal ball and all that. I mean, that opens doorways for evil spirits to come in. Um, but it is, there is a evil spirits and there is a God spirit. So, um, and most of the world searches for something and it's always evil spirits involved. They don't look for the one true path, which is um, Jesus who died on the cross for our sins. Um, and I can delve more into that. And why I know that I, I have not searched other paths, I actually close the door to other paths because I know that it's... Um, I do not allow doors opening of letting Satan get into my life anymore. But now I'm going on and on. There's more to tell, but I just don't want to go on and on at this point. The last 10 years I have not been living for God. I promised him I would never leave him again, but I did anyway. And real, real, back then, we just lived our lives as Christians going to church. It's all like a routine. Oh, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Wear tight jeans like everyone else. This is okay. That is okay. I don't know. I think we've become too worldly within the world. And it's, it's not right in North America. Um, and now being my age I am, I'm in my late 40s and God is showing me this now and it's like, oh, I wish I could start over and re-raise my kids differently, but the past is the past, right? So um, from here forward is the changes that took place as of, well, we moved here April 1st, 2014 and God's changed things radically. He's He's opened the doors, He's opened our eyes, the Holy Spirit's moved in our life. He's, he's having me doing things that I never thought I would ever do. Or even if I thought of it slightly, I didn't know, I don't know. When I was 18, I was thinking of being a missionary and I was too scared for some reason. I had no money, no means. 
I did not, I did not let God use my whole life. I did not say honestly and submissively take my whole life, my body, soul, mind, spirit, and use it. That is what is the problem with a lot of Christians today, or they get too comfy in their spots, or they aren't told this properly. I, could, I won't want to put churches down. They may have been told, but they don't listen. But it all becomes too routine, and we don't realize that when we say repent, it means in sincerity, submission, honest, going before the Lord humbly, saying, well, not being prideful, saying, yes, I know I'm wrong. You know, God, everything that you did for us is awesome, and I am only awesome with you. We need to come to that point. We need to not and say, and let him, you know, realize that our sin is sin. I mean, if we don't come to that point, we are going to be doing what we want to do and keep sinning and we think, we're, I don't know, I don't want to go on and on at this point. I'm going to break things down in sections as I go do videos. And I guess I'm doing videos because maybe that's God leading me to that. I don't know. But maybe we're going to do the, want to show the night and day on these on the channel, whatever thing. Um, so, yeah, this is a real thing. This is not a religion. Um... They say Christianity is kind of turned into religion, but it's more like we're believers that believe in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, that he died for, that he was not just a teacher, he went around taught, but he also did miracles. Um, and then he not just died, he rose on the cross again. Um, God has other plans for me besides just making videos, so, um, and I don't know what, is all going to happen yet but I he is kind of so far I feel like a call to be going ministering on the streets um, and just see where that goes but for now I after this video I will tell you the beginning story and for now this is just the intro so I rededicated my life to the Lord in May. I will tell you the story in the next video. And things are changing, and that's the world is changing, and I will tell you everything and why it's important to believe it and not to just yawn and turn away or not just to say, oh, it's just a fairy tale, or not just to say those crazy radical people think the world's going to end and all that. Um, Anyway, so I'll end this one intro at this at this point, and hope to. S and that's it. And um, yeah, God bless you all.